Hey, I'm John from John Ash Contracting. Uh, we are a third generation roofing company specializing in residential roofing. Probably 99% of every residential home we do uh, may have step flashing on their house. Uh, if you have any area where a roof meets a wall, where you have some kind of siding on the wall, could be wood siding, aluminum, vinyl, brick, block, stucco, etc., where the joint of the roof meets the siding, you have your roof meets the siding, you have a joint there. And that joint is an opening that would leak every time it rains all the time starting the first day the house was built if there was not some way to seal that joint um, you don't want to use blackjack or silicone unless you want to use it as a temporary band-aid during an emergency because the blackjack or silicone will eventually crack or wear away you need something more permanent and that's called step flashing this is a common item uh, that's used again on almost every house that has where a wall meets a roof. Now, going back hundreds of years ago, uh, wealthy people may have used copper. Um, they didn't have galvanized steel yet. They could use tin. Uh, aluminum is something they started using more in modern times. The type of metal is not as important as how it is installed. And then, of course, over time, that step flashing can get damaged and cause a leak. Now, whenever someone has a leak where the roof is near the siding, most people, probably 90%, automatically assume it's a roof, whether it's an old roof or whether it's a brand new roof. Uh, oftentimes, it's not the roof. It's the step flashing, which connects the roof to the siding. Uh... People often say when a brand new roof is installed, sometimes six months later they have a leak and they're blaming the roofer. And it could be the roof, it could be the roofer. Oftentimes it's not, it's the step flashing. Uh, and people say, well, why didn't you change the step flashing when you were there? And yes, for more money, you could change the step flashing, but in order to change the step flashing, almost every time, you must remove the siding, your step flashing. So if this is your roof over the step flashing, your siding is over here. Normally your step flashing is nailed to the wall up here. You can't nail the step flashing to the roof, but now you're puncturing the roof and the roof probably will leak immediately. So you never nail the flashing to the roof area or under the roof. You nail the flashing to the wall. But then you put siding over the flashing. Now you can't see the flashing or the nails. You can't get the flashing out because it's nailed. Can't get the nails out because of the siding. So you must remove the siding. Now, if you remove the roof only, you still can't get the siding out. But if you remove the siding, the roof can stay there and you can slide the step flashing right out. That's why I explain to people the step flashing, although it connects the roof to the siding, is not really a roof issue. It's really a step, uh, uh, step flashing and siding issue as far as removing the step flashing. You must remove the siding. So now we have to charge somebody to remove the siding. So we don't do that automatically unless you have a leak that we think is from the step flashing. Then we'll need to charge you to remove the siding to fix the problem. I don't think it's fair or honest to charge money to homeowners to remove the siding to put new step flashing in if that's not something you need. Probably 90% or 95% of the roofs that we do do not need new step flashing. So it's never done automatically with the roof. Now another problem we run into is brick or block or stucco. How do you remove the siding if you have one of those three types of material? Uh, maybe some roofers can. We don't want that responsibility or liability. If we break your stucco on purpose to remove the flashing, how do we put the stucco back to match it perfectly to the old stucco? 
Most people want their homes to look nice and need a stucco guy. The problem is most stucco guys don't want a small job like that. And then roofers can't do it because they're not stucco guys. So a lot of times if you have brick or block or stucco, we can't help you. And we'll tell you, hey, you need new flashing, but we can't remove your siding. Now, if you have cedar shake, vinyl siding, aluminum siding, clapboard, that we can remove. Uh, believe it or not, that was the easier part of the conversation. There's more to it. There's more details. Uh, this video is getting long. We're going to stop this video, but I just wanted to give people a general idea about step flashing. Uh, for you smart people out there, you already know all of that. Many people do not know all of that. So if you have any questions on step flashing, I'm the man. Give me a call, John Ash Contracting. Have a pleasant and wonderful day.